Hello guys, welcome back to Tech It here with another video. We've not done an upload in absolutely ages. Um, but I'm just gonna be showing you how to fix this flight sim error that people are getting. I did get it. Uh the reason is because I changed my settings on Flight Simulator. Um and I changed my settings from direct X12 to direct X11. And this caused my game to crash, so every time I'd load it up, I'd just get a black screen with this error message. Um and I'm just going to be telling you how to fix it. The link that it does provide, it might work for you, but it did not work for me. The best way I found to fix this was with PC. If you have the GeForce Experience uh, downloaded, this is really important because this is the only way you can really modify your game settings um, when you do not have access to Flight Sim. Uh, so you need to download GeForce Experience. You can get this if you uh, go to the NVIDIA website. Um, Make sure your drivers are up to date as well. Um, and then what you'll want to do is go to the details where Flight Sim is. If it doesn't work, um, you'll need to have Flight Sim open. So even though you're getting that error message, make sure your Flight Simulator is open. And then what you'll want to press is details. And then you can see that it says current and optimal. So when I didn't have Flight Sim open, this current had nothing and it just had optimal. But because the game isn't open, you need to ensure that you have the game running in the background. Even though it's got the black screen, it is still running. So you need to make sure that is running in the background. What you want to do is go into this bit where it says current. Here before, this said Direct X11. What you'll just need to do is press the optimize button. And this should change it back to Direct X12. This is what you'll want to need, especially if you're running on a high end PC like myself. Because um, DirectX 11 just didn't work and it would just kept crashing the game every time I'd load it up. So if you change it to DirectX 12 by hitting the optimize button, this should fix it. If you've had any other problems, please feel free to let me know in the comments and I should be able to make a video for you. Thank you very much guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.